Hello guys, in today's video we're going to check out the best speakers in 2020. I made this list based on my personal opinion and I try to list them based on their price, quality, durability and more. To find out more information about these speakers, you can check out the description below. If you'd like to win one of these products, make sure you watch the whole video, click the like button and comment the hidden word found in this video. At number 5, it's the Vizio SB3621N E8M. Speakers are one of the most necessary and crucial parts of your entertainment setup besides your TV. And I say time and time again, you may have a great high-end TV, but the sound performance will not be top-notch. If you want a budget price speaker solution for your house, I have an interesting budget soundbar that comes with a subwoofer, the Vizio SB3621N E8M. This budget soundbar delivers tons for its price, has amazing output even for larger rooms, sounds pretty smooth and is extremely affordable for its price. The wireless subwoofer just makes the package worth so much more, exceptional in every way. The Vizio SB3621N E8M is worth your attention. In 95% of the cases, you would sacrifice on build quality and aesthetics when you're shopping for a budget product, but not with the Vizio SB3621N E8M. The soundbar has a width of 36 inches and is just 2.1 inches tall, meaning that you can place it under your TV and it won't interfere with your remote control. In terms of aesthetics, it has a streamlined industrial design that looks pretty good overall. On top of the device, you'll spot some controls that'll deliver some usefulness if you can't find your remote, but the remote is pretty good as well at delivering a great range and intuitive layout. In the connectivity department, the Vizio SB3621N E8M is packed with two digital inputs, a coaxial one and an optical, a USB port that plays WAV files and a 3.5mm AUX audio port, however it still comes packed with Bluetooth connectivity. You really wouldn't expect such a performance from a 36-inch soundbar in that price point, however this one impressed me with its soundstage. It filled a big room instantly and it was very impressive, and thanks to its exceptional true surround processing, it delivers a sharp and bright sound. On top of all this, the tiny sub delivered an adequate bass experience with plenty of punch and bite to it. If you're shopping for budget speakers, this is the best in the market. At number 4, it's the Logitech G560. Coming up next, we have an excellent pair of gaming speakers coming in from the peripheral manufacturer Logitech, the G560s. These speakers are a superb and excellent choice for entertainment as well, delivering a powerful sound, great lighting options like a proper gaming device, Bluetooth connectivity, solid software and overall tons of value for the price. Logitech has hit the sweet spot once again, so let's take a closer look. The Logitech G560 speaker package consists of two satellite speakers and a subwoofer that's covered with a nicely textured deep black plastic, and while there's no light on the subwoofer unit of the device, there are four bright RGB LEDs that go along with a strip of LEDs on each device. The 2.5-inch drivers on the speakers are covered with fabric mesh grills that deliver a great look, and I can comfortably say that they fit in every room with contemporary design. The Logitech G560 is extremely easy to set up, as the subwoofer acting as a sort of hub for the speakers accepts the connection from them to direct it to your PC via a USB connection. After that, you just need to install the Logitech gaming software and you're all done in a couple of minutes. After that, you can control the speakers via the software or through Bluetooth or 3.5mm audio jack connection. The aforementioned software is pretty much crucial for the functionality of this device as it delivers controls for the lighting as well as the surround sound, equalization settings and setting up different profiles for different games. In terms of sound and performance, the Logitech G560 delivered great gaming excellence, especially with the integration of the Logitech gaming software that delivered great customization. For example, I set different profiles for different games so I can get the most immersive experience for each and it didn't disappoint me at all. If you want a great set of gaming speakers, the Logitech G560 is a dream come true. At number 3, it's the Klipsch R41M. Coming up next, we have a pair of speakers coming in that deliver tons of value for their price, the Klipsch R41Ms. These speakers will deliver an excellent sound performance that you really won't find in this price range. A great design, tons of connectivity, Bluetooth, it doesn't require any kind of stereo receiver and so much more. If you want to get the most out of your hard-earned dollar, you definitely should invest in the Klipsch R41M. These speakers come as a pair and come in a black colour, as each of them measures about 9.8 by 5.9 by 7.5 inches in total and weighs about 18.7 pounds in total, which are pretty hefty but well worth the weight. 
On the front of each device, you'll spot a cloth grill that's removable, and underneath each is located the 1-inch tweeter and the 4-inch copper-spun woofer. And on the lower part of the tweeter, you'll see the clips reference log and can say that these speakers look definitely classy and sharp overall, fitting into a wide range of rooms. There are also silicon pads on each corner of the speakers to keep it stable in case of knocks and bass vibrations. The frequency range of the device spans from 76 Hz to 21 kHz, so there isn't that much sub bass from this device, and on top of that, the whole power output is just 70 watts. On the back of the right speaker, you'll find the master volume knob that works independently from the connected source. There are also ground connections and a switch for swapping between typical line signals, plus the turntable phono signal. Moving on, it has the RCA inputs, 3.5mm AUX input, subwoofer output, USB connection, micro USB, and optical input to complete the package. The bass was very powerful and accurate despite not being very deep, and the mids were also very detailed, especially the stringed instruments and the very satisfying vocals. The highs were represented adequately without any kind of problem, sharp and bright at all times. If you want to get the most bang for your buck in the speaker market, you have to check out the Klipsch R41Ms. At number 2, it's the Sonos One. Up next we have one of the best wireless speakers in the market, the Sonos One. This device is not just a wireless speaker that pumps out sound, but it's also a smart device that'll deliver you great smart assistant features with either Amazon Alexa or Google Assistant. It also looks pretty good and delivers amazing sound performance for its size and price. Definitely a top-notch product, and I'd suggest you opt for a two-room package for the best experience. The design of the Sonos One is pretty much the same as the Sonos Play One, which is the spiritual predecessor of this device, but there are some improvements and refinements. Moving on, the Sonos One comes with a touch-sensitive surface on the top that looks pretty sleek and delivers controls for the device, which include swiping for skipping tracks, tapping in the middle pauses the music, and left and right tapping for volume. It's pretty simple in terms of controls, just like every Sonos device in the market. This speaker is packed with six internal microphones that are perfect for the voice assistant features of this speaker, and the whole thing is pretty compact, measuring about 4.72 by 4.72 by 6.34 inches in total and weighs about 4.08 pounds. The whole setup for the Sonos One is a bit more complicated than your classic Echo Dot, but not significantly. First off, you need to install the Sonos and Alexa apps on your smartphone and connect them to complete the process, not much of a hassle. Just like any Sonos speaker, the One also delivers a priceless listening experience, pretty much flawless for its size. It delivered an adequate performance throughout the frequency range and it delivered a great deal of performance overall. Punchy bass, detailed mids and bright highs, it doesn't get better than this. For those that want a smart wireless speaker that can deliver an adequate sound, this is it. Look no further. And at number one, it's the KEF LS50. On top of the list, we have the definite best and also the most high-end device in the market, the KEF LS50 Wireless. This comes as one of the best pairs of studio monitors in the market, delivering perfect performance at a compact size, build quality for ages, super attractive design and no flaws, definitely well worth the price if you can afford it. A professional-grade sound for your house, just perfect. If you're in the sound circles, you probably know that people always prefer passive speakers due to their costs, and even if you justify the cost of active speakers, you still need to install a preamp to the setup at the very least. However, the KEF LS50 comes as a pair of active speakers with a preamp functionality, and it also has both digital and analog inputs. It has Bluetooth connectivity, Tidal audio service built in, and an NAS unit so anything connected to the same network can stream audio through it. Definitely the only one to do so. The KEF LS50s have one of the best build quality and craftsmanship I've seen in the last few years. Everything is super top notch and made to last a long time. Each of the speakers measures about 12 by 7.9 by 11.8 inches in total, and the devices are pretty hefty as well, but it's no surprise since there are tons of components inside the speakers. They also look pretty much perfect overall without a doubt, with a curved design in the front and are one of the classier solutions in the market overall. The speakers rock a Uni-Q array that uses a 25mm aluminium dome tweeter in the centre of the 13cm magnesium and aluminium cone to deliver the performance. Each of the units has a dedicated power amplifier like true active speakers, and the 200W Class D module delivers great power without raising the heat a lot. The dedicated digital to analog unit delivers a great performance as well, and the sound of the KEF LS50 is the best in the market, as I have not heard anything quite like this at this price. 
The speakers may be small, but they achieve 106 decibel volumes without any distortion. The tonal balance is pretty much perfect as well, and the speaker delivers great rhythm and a perfect soundscape, combined with its flawless frequency range. If you want the best of the best, the KEF LS50 is your best pick. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you found it helpful, please remember to leave a like and subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this in the future. If you have any questions related to these products, you can leave a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can.